Hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid. In this video, we're looking at how we can reduce the number of steps we have in Power Query by applying our change type inside our custom column. So if you're ready, let's get started. So here in Power Query, I have a simple table that just shows the item and a value. Now let's say that we want to add a custom column. So I'll go to Add Column, Custom Column. Let's call this My Column. Now, all I want to do is to take the item from the value column and add 100 to it and then click OK. Simple enough. What we see is that it's created this column and it has 100 added to it, but it doesn't have a data type applied. So I'd need to come up here and then apply the data type that I want. Let's say that I want a decimal number. Now, the thing is that when Power Query uses this same transformation, it applies the data type automatically. So if I click on my value column, come up to the standard section in my add column ribbon, and then I'll come to add. I'll enter 100 into that box and then click OK. You'll see it's exactly the same calculation, but Power Query has applied this type number as part of the table dot add column function. So that means we can do the same in our custom columns. If I copy that, I'm just going to delete my previous two steps. So this gets me back to the custom column that I added. I can simply paste that in there. And that means that within that one step, I've now changed my data type whilst creating my custom column. Now you might be thinking, well, how do you know what the data type should be? All of them won't be number. So how is it possible to know? Well, it's as simple as just taking a column value, for example, I'm going to change that to currency. You can see here that it says currency.type. I can copy that. I'll then delete that previous step that changed that type. And then I can apply this inside my add column function. There we go. I've now changed that to a currency data type. Well, hopefully that's a useful technique that lets you reduce down the number of steps that you might use in Power Query because we've applied our data type inside the same step as when we create a custom column. Well, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.